we are headed to headed to a client to work on a project. Y'all, if I'm looking shiny or shinty, I don't know why my husband be trying to have me ride, riding in the heat. It's hot. Saving gas. Whatever. If all these cars move, we can go faster and it'll bring more wind in. And therefore, you don't have to be as hot. It's too hot. But in the meantime, in between time, this is what we're doing. And this is a... Did I already say use what you have project? It's a use what you have project. Okay. Thus, all of this up here. Do you believe in that? Use what you have? At my neck. What you mean? Do you really believe in that? Yeah, use what you have for what you have for work. Well, for that's why I say if you let your windows down, you can let God Bye -bye. Let the You use what you have. I'm using the AC that we have. Well, it's costing us to use this it's AC. all right. Am I not worth it? You worth it, baby. You worth you every... You sweating and carrying on worth, and getting mersky. You worth every bit of AC that I turn on. I'm going to turn it on high. Thank you. Be high, y'all. See, you can ride like this with... <gasps> Make sure you pay attention to the traffic. Ride like this with Steven. So I think from time to time I may do a little vlogging. So we'll see how this goes. We're going to talk about positive stuff. Isn't that right? Yep. And what's positive is God has air outside. And if you're able to go faster with your car. I don't mean no harm. But I don't want God's hot air right now. No See, that's not positive you, thinking. Lord, that's not positive Jesus. thinking, Donna. That's hey. not positive thinking. Baby, the Lord wouldn't want me sweating. Well, he wouldn't have made it hot if he didn't want you to sweat. No, that's why he made cars that had air conditioning. This is a vlog and also riding with the miners. But as I was saying, so look, we're getting ready to work on a project. My husband really, you know, I just kind of drug him in. Beautiful Two Creations is getting ready to be on location. And um, I have a client that she's wanting or they're wanting several projects done. They have several projects that they're working on in their home. And she is so sweet in that she's going to put her project on the back burner of getting her wardrobe room done to do a media room for her husband. I mean, she'll enjoy it too, but you know, that's that's the main cave. But in the meantime, when she was talking about getting that done, and she mentioned having to put her wardrobe room on the back burner. So that made me feel some kind of way. So my suggestion was, how about we start where we are, use what we have, and do what we can in your wardrobe room so it will at least allow her to get her things organized and feel better about her space until we can really get in there and do what we really want to do. So she was excited uh, to hear that. And what you see here is we had a couple of these builder's grade um, closet system or racks that I've taken down in our home. And they were in the dreaded garage. Don't, 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 don't. Because that garage looks terrible. How refined. <laughs> Woo, Jesus. So. We were able to take a couple of these. I think it's, how many do we have back there? Is it three? Three. There's three of them that we pulled out of the garage. And I think she has at least one or maybe two. Definitely one. And we're going to put those up again so she can at least get her clothes in there and get her things organized. So this is why we're riding down the highway and I have this shelf in my neck. In my neck, neck. It's in, it's in my truck. And my truck ain't no truck. Okay, it's a truck, but it's it's an SUV. It's not a, it's not a flatbed truck. So I'm riding around with this. You don't put it in your car. It won't fit in my car. 
That's if true. it would, I would have put it in my car, honey. You ain't saying nothing but a. That's true. What y'all know? You ain't saying nothing but a W O R D. I sure would have put it in my car. So this is why we're riding with all of, all of this stuff. Now we're very, very excited. Now we're riding with all this stuff, but we're gonna make a little pit stop on the way because dude number two is not with us and he's at a basketball camp. So he's giving them the business. Giving them the business. Yeah. Y'all just wait. I'm telling you. Our baby boy. Oh, he ain't no baby no more. Our big boy. Our son will be playing pro. Um, what? No, true story, people. That, that That's no joke. What are Carter's we saying? Really he's graduating 20, 2021, 2022. He gifted that guy. We're going to see him right now. AAU. Top of the line, everything, guys. You will see him. Trust me, they they already coming out of him. Yeah. So he's he will be. We are speaking at speaking that thing into existence. Now, you that know what? He will be playing. We can let broke. the people see him so they can get a, a good glimpse so, of him, what you're looking at. Well, we, we're running a, a little late, but if I can get a snippet, we're going to share. Dude number two, he ain't that but the truth. The truth. Hey, man, and that's the real deal. That's just not daddy. Daddy saying it's his boy. Um, other people saying it, and if you see him, you'll say it too. Yeah, so he's he's really gifted. So we're academically just, talented. Academically as well, huh? Because he is a student athlete, and he okay. understands that. I'm gonna make a few people mad. Academics come first. I'm gonna make a few people mad. Why are you his, gonna make people his mad? desire. His desire. And the boy misguided. I mean, you know, he's a kid. You gotta lead him. He, he wants, he desires to go to Duke. Duke? Duke? <laughs> now, what is wrong with your boy, God? Man, I took him in the back room again. We'll come to Jesus meeting with you. Hey, you don't lost your mind, boy. What's wrong with that? <sighs> what's wrong with that? A lot of the fans out there tell you. They'll tell you. What's wrong with it? Duke. You might as well be going to Afghanistan, if you ask me. Almost at the game. I guess they probably maybe they started a little late. Usually things like this, when you're running behind, they start on time. When you early, they start late. So it's like a warranty. You know a warranty? When you need it, 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 it don't cover it. Don't, don't talk about the warranty. Speaking of which. Yeah, I just had an extended warranty on my car and it is so frustrating. You have these warranties all these years, and then when you need it, what do they say? It's not covered under the warranty. Aggravated.com. Give me my money back. So, you know, you can cancel a warranty. For those of you that did not know that. That's good information. You it, can cancel a warranty and get money back. It usually happens, like, if you trade the vehicle in and there's some, you still have some time left on the warranty, you can get, you know, get what's left. How about my warranty expires in about 30 days? I done called the people, and he says, you know, it's going to expire in about 30 days. What they would do is refund you what was left. Give me my money. I don't care if it's $30. That's a tank of gas, a cup of groceries or something. Um, Understand the game, people. Give me my money. You say it's, it's just mine. $30. If 1 million people around America turn in their $30, want their $30 back, that's $30 million them gangsters don't get from you. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm on the tick pen. How you go into the doggone car and you break all the way down the transmission and there's one boat the warranty don't cover, but that's the boat that's messing up. That man, whatever, man. Y'all people like, whatever. I've seen mobsters do people better than what these people do. Not the mobsters. The mob, mob do better than what these people do. Warranty. That's like health insurance. I ain't going to get it. 
But then something go wrong with you. But then you get it for 500 years. Then they look at you and say, well, you didn't need it. My health insurance is different. I feel like... Tell me the difference. Well, like I say, it's better to have it than not need it. Well, that's a warranty. It's better to have it than not need it than need it than not have it. I, that's how they get you. I know it, but... But when you get it real... Explains the difference to me. But when you get real sick... Well, when your car really broke down. <laughs> oh, God. It's the same Ooh, thing. Oh, you get on my nerves. I'm just saying, it's the same thing. And then when you go with your health insurance, they're like, well, you don't cover that. It's like when your car really broke down. Yeah, when your car really, really broke down, it's emergency. It's sick. It's sick. So these are the type of things, people, <laughs> that they continuously take in your hard-earned money. Now, let me tell you, well, no, you can't beat that now, because I'm going to tell you where to get around it, but now they make it mandatory. I'm going to get me a little make sign that say we'll work for food. What do he say? Need help. You are blessed. I'm gonna tell you, I saw a man. This man's holding a sign. I mean, this thing it, getting, man, it they don't get say, gangsta. It didn't say we'll work for food. This man was holding a we'll sign. Work. It said, I ain't gonna lie, I need a bill. I said, what the world? <laughs> you know what? And he'll I, probably get more money than anybody because he's telling the truth. People keep it real. They say, you know what? I don't even drink and I don't endorse drinking. But you know what, man? You ain't even lying to me. But when you got people, you ever follow those people? After they don't collected their money all day. Some you ever follow them? Nice vehicles. Mine need a warranty that needs to be fixed. And nails just push button, start and go well. I don't know. I'm going to get me a sign. But you know, I told you. I ain't going to lie either. I told I you. I want my warranty paid off. I told you, but I know somebody that they saw somebody standing on the corner. And this was years ago when the signs just used to read, you know, we'll work for food. Where we going? Just keep going, baby. Keep going Just straight. Just keep going straight. Yeah. Turn the straight. signs used to say we'll work for food, but you know they got they got the fancy signs now, honey. You know I got six kids at home and they hungry. Anywho, um, so this person I'm gonna get me a neon turned sign. around, I'm went honest. to Burger King and got you know meals. Then pulled up. That's right. Done pulled up. Pulled up to the man, trying to hand him the meal. And he had the audacity to fix his mouth to say, I hope you didn't get no french fries because I don't like french fries. I would say, well, you're not hungry. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Back to my warranty situation. I don't care about the little man and his french fries. Everybody, what what is a happy meal? What's a happy meal? He didn't eat the french fries. Well, okay, what about $3, $4? I'm talking about a big warranty that we paying and then when something breaks, how you gonna go in and find the one screw that the warranty don't cover? And then say, well, I'm sorry, that don't cover. And then ain't gonna try to ask you, well, no, nah, don't, please don't take your warranty from us. What? Yeah, he gonna act like, well, what? he said, well, it may not be about, first he said, maybe $30, $40. He said, 100 at the most. How about his mine? I don't care if it's $5. It's my money. I'm gonna need you to get my refund check and our, uh, Put it in the mail. Let me make sure you got my right address. So this is what I did, guys. Here's what's going on. What did you do? My wife was sitting around and she was really pressuring me. I feel the things she needed. I like was Cosmetic things she needed to be done oh, for no, car. You know, like she has her, her leather seats, but on the side of the leather seats, and I don't know why they would do this. They put plastic. They put this plastic fitting that you know work all of your your um your little up down side back forward with your, your seat. Your seat adjuster. Yeah, your seat adjuster. It's plastic. You sit your butt in your seat all the time. Sooner or later, you know, plastic thing is going to break. So it broke, right? So my wife, she's frustrated. She wants to go get, I'm going to get another car. No, no, you, baby, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It wasn't just wait, that. Wait a minute. You you only had, we, we, you finna pay your car off. The purpose is to pay it off, people. And you don't need, look, when you go get a 2017, guess what happened? Soon as you bought that car, 2018 is on its way. Now yours old. Now, I'm just saying, you got to be able to have what you have and just say, look, I'm okay but with that this. wasn't the only thing, honey. It was several things, and I can't stand raggedy stuff. Several things. And it, it was several things several that things I needed that done. Totaled, and, the and, mo like I, and the most expensive one we needed done, the warranty found that the screw that it didn't cover, that was the screw that was needed. And so everything else, well, nevertheless, back to my story. Please stand still. This is my story. So in my story... I go in and I look at this and I'm like, okay, all right, I'm going to fix this. So I ordered the part and once I order this part, I'm looking and I said, okay, how much do it cost if you guys um, fix this? Well, it's going to be $90 an hour. 
ninety dollars an hour. So I come, I let me go look at it. So I come home from work and I look at my wife. I go outside. She has the part. UPS delivers the part. So I want. I go outside. Wait, and but you left out the main and you left out the important part. Well, your butt was gonna drive. Wanted us to drive about an hour to get the part. Now we, I was gonna drive. Okay. But I put it in the GPS. I say it's gonna take us almost an hour to get there. Okay, Why you had the people to mail it? So you let had to call the lady back so, so she can mail it. UPS send it back. UPS send men folk. They don't think like that. So down with you. Oh, like men folk. Don't. Okay, men well folk. let me tell you. Think so smart. Men folks. Me being a man folk, I go in and I say, okay, <laughs> this is what we gonna do. And so I go around and I order the part. I go out and I look at the part and I say to him, you know what? <laughs> let me see how this go. And so I go outside and I come back and my wife says to me, I say, what happened, baby? Is something wrong? I said, do you have to YouTube it or Google it to see how you need to fix it? And I said, no, it's done. She said, done. I said, done? $90 an hour. Now let me what tell you how your warranty you people will do you. Your warranty people will go outside, fix that in two seconds, come back and say, you know what? It's gonna take us a little longer than what, it, what we needed to. So it's gonna be about two hours, which 90 times two, and according to our mathematical standard here in America, you guys can count real well when it's your money <laughs> That's being pulled away. So if you gotta pay $90 two times, we all know that zero plus zero is zero. But nine plus nine is what? 18. $180 for something that it would have took. Yeah, man. I'm hotter than fish grease. Whoa. Because I had to fix my thing. My warranty didn't cover it. But they take my money every month. So I say to them, their warranty, all of it. When you see Jimmy Jack leg out there fixing stuff, Jimmy Jack. Well, it get done, don't it? With it. Baby, you're not Jimmy Jack Leg. When you came in, I said, Oh, you the man. You the man. I don't you're care nothing man. about them in their warranty. You, I fixed my me. I'm trying to tell you. And I said, Thank you, baby. That was so sweet. Was that awesome? You was awesome. I can't. <laughs> Something wrong with him, y'all. But he is coming to open my door. This is what he does. So. We gonna have to continue this because we have to get in there. We gotta see lit dude. Maybe they can't see you. <laughs> we gotta see lit dude, everybody. We gotta. Okay, that's. I hope you ain't no boogers in your nose. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we okay, go. we'll be back. Well, the boys were playing a little early today, so we missed. We missed dude number two's game, and we're on a college campus. Baby, tell the people what we just saw. <laughs> what was laying on the ground? Huh? What was laying on the ground? Um, <laughs> a used, um, uh, a used, uh. <laughs> was it used? Uh, yeah, it was used. Oh, because it was out the back. Yeah. Uh -oh. So it was a used device known for, um, um, protection. Protection. If you would. If you would. What did it need um, to be protected from? Um, uh, um, it can only be used once. <laughs> and, um, stay together and protect it. But by chance, if it, um, what's a good word we can use? It's, it's used to prevent babies and what else? Oh. And the man wear it. Uh, also, <laughs> pray for your kids. We have to pray and plead the, bu the blood, the blood. Plead the blood of Jesus. My wife said, is that, I said, is this a college campus? You don't go straight. Ba baby, is that what I think that is? Yeah, that's what you think it he is. He said, baby, this is a college campus, yes. The college campus is what you think it is. And, but to be right there well, in the what? middle of the walkway? It's in the middle of the parking lot. Or the so. walkway. Honey, let me tell you, y'all kids in college, all the kids everywhere, we have to continue to pray. Plead the blood of Jesus. Stay away from the do it fairy. The do it fairy, the do it fairy bring babies. Thank you, baby. He's so sweet. Whoop. Man, do you guys still open the doors? 
for your significant others and your wives. My husband still opens the door for me. That is so sweet. Wait a minute, babe. Let us get situated. <sighs> we situated. <sighs> it's hot, honey. We are on the road again. Let's get buckled up. So now that we've made that pit stop, we are headed to our client's home. So my husband can start the installation process of these closet shelves. Now, honey, I'm gonna need you to. Uh, can we? Can we get the AC? Are we still need AC? Yeah. Do you see how shiny I am? You just shine all the time. That's the light of heaven. Where we at? Shine on me. Wasn't that a show or something? Well, that was their uh, intro music. Let the light from heaven, Lord, or something like that. Shine on me. Shine on me. I told you, you can ride in the heat when I'm not with you. I'm be trying to do all the extra. Sweating and carrying on. Well, oh. when I'm riding by myself, I always keep the AC on. No, you don't. Well, most of the time I do because it don't it don't take as much AC to cool off one person than it do two people. So, what I try to do... That didn't even make no sense. It don't make sense to you. It don't make sense. It don't make sense, make to, sense to you. It don't make sense to y'all. Ex America. Whatever, it don't make it don't sense. Take, it don't take much to cool down one person. It take more to cool down one You two. don't ride with the air anyway because you're not used to the air condition because you didn't have air condition. I'm going to you go again talking about my pants. <laughs> talking about my pants. You didn't grow up with air condition. That's right. I showed enough getting. Talk about this little project boy that you had. That was the best thing you ever found. I know y'all. Good stuff come out the projects. My husband grew up in the project. Good stuff come out the projects. Good thing he's come out the projects, baby. Good thing. I don't care what kind of weed garden you have. That's a flower gonna come up in there somewhere. You was a flower, baby. What kind of flower were you? I was a um. What's a strong flower? That's a strong flower. A, strong. a weed? No, that's that ain't a flower. <laughs> but weeds seem like they can survive anything. Well, it is. But which way we going? Left or right? We're going back to the highway, baby. Okay. It's um, like um, it's like weeds can. Wait a minute, don't pull off yet. No, I'm going. Please. I'm going. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm going. I'm it's, not going to sit still. So, I'm about to get beat up by um, but you know it seems like weeds can survive anything. Huh? Why is that campus? Anywho, so. I don't know if I was finished. You know, he was ranting about that um, warranty situation. But, oh, this is what I was gonna say. And he told me, what did you say? This is my story, baby, let me tell it. Whatever you were trying to say. The reason he got to moving and shaking because the issues that I'm having with my vehicle. And he knew was, I wasn't playing. Was, no, 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 no. Was. No, I still have some issues that have to be taken care of. Not no is, real issues. You lies and garbage. Like lies what? and garbage. What's the real issue? Lies and garbage. What's the real issue? Breaks. Breaks? And then the issue. What's wrong with, with your breaks? And then the issue with my sunroof, Um, whatever that. It's a, it make a click. What the click? It ain't, it's not supposed to make a click. Oh it's my on my goodness. nerves. For the love of God. So, anywho, what I told him was the children of I, Israel was less complaining of coming out of Egypt than what we're hearing we're here. We're not talking about the children of Israel. Get As I was saying, so I told him, because I just, y'all, I get aggravated. And I feel some kind of way when stuff just malfunctions and does not work properly. It just aggravates me. I mean, I need stuff to work and I need it to work right. And after I've told you, 
You don't go no get more times. Like you one, don't two, go three. get into a after I've told you over. Wait a minute. Why can I finish my story? Well, no, I'm back in my story again. Why in God's name, when you are this close to shutting the door, to having your stuff paid off and going on, Listen. that you would go and because the sunroof clicked when it opened, but I'm going to go get a new car. It's other stuff. But what I told him was, I said, I need you to fix it. I said, now either you fix it or I'm going to fix it. So and when I fix it, he was going to come home and I was going to have a new vehicle and, and in the driveway. And that, that would be so... I just, it would be it's so, mind-blowing to so even mad. think about this. You make, you make me so tired, you make me so Donna. Tired, you make Donna. me so tired. But that's what was going to happen. By a car, so North Carolina. It's like, just fix it. So... Hmm. We're taking it one step at a time. Look, we're starting where we are, using what we have, and doing what we can. And that's what he's, that's the model he's using to take care of issues I had with my car. They're not like no real issues. I can see if it's like those. It's not real issues to you, because evidently you don't have a problem driving ragged and stuff. Oh! Oh, shoot, I'm finna go here now, cuz. I'm finna go here now. Let me tell you. Oh, Lord have mercy. I love him. But y'all, he be working in my nerves. But I love him. And even with the vlogging, the name of my channel is Beautiful Two Creations. And I believe, or I know, I believe that family is beautiful. Marriage is beautiful. At least all these things should be beautiful. Christianity is beautiful. So I'm going to incorporate all of these things in my channel or on our channel, not just the decorative piece. And there are going to be times that we even discuss. Man, this bird just dropped the load on my oh. windshield. Now that's oh. disrespectful. Now that's that is, can y'all see that? Oh my goodness, that is straight. This, can they see it, babe? You know what? Oh, that's man, this, that's, that's a ghetto bird, man. That's ridiculous. Oh my goodness. I mean, can y'all see that? Oh, for the love of God, I don't want to get that me out of here. Nasty. I need a new truck. Oh, get me out nasty. of here. Get that's me out nasty. of here. I need a new truck. I mean, they just did a plot. That is, it was it three of them, baby? That bird had diarrhea. He died for real. I mean, that bird had died real. Man, listen, this is ridiculous. Where is a car wash? But you here? know what? The crack. Now, see, see, that's what I'm talking about. The bird boo boo on my car today, and you ain't asked about no car wash. I, I, that's see, because we see, were see leaving. People. What? We were leaving. We were packing stuff up, leaving. How am I gonna go to the car wash site? I get that car back. But look at this here. That's just. Ugh. It's all right. Maybe he wasn't feeling good, baby. His, his stomach was hurting. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. Let me see him in the street. I'm, I'm gonna stop all his pain. His stomach was hurting. Oh, that's where we at. His stomach was oh, hurting. Boy. That's nasty. He's a nasty bird. That's a nasty bird, baby. Okay, where are we getting on the highway? That's uh, right. Forty East. He's a nasty bird. No. I bet he feel better. I bet his stomach don't hurt no more. Okay. <laughs> but as I was saying, so we will incorporate some vlogging and some topics. Um, for example, one topic I want to talk about is blended families. So I keep telling my husband at some point that we want to have a discussion and just share some things about um, blended family. Let me see where we're going. Okay blended family because we have a blended family and <clears throat> sometimes when you have a blended family you can have challenges yeah you can have challenges with the blended family but one thing I can say is that I appreciate the stand that my husband um, took when we first got married and just made sure that I would I was never disrespected and you know that kind of stuff you know sometimes you can have a baby mama drama stuff so we're going to have a discussion about blended families and just kind of share some things that we did that helped us in that process and helped our families uh, helped our family 
to blend, and it's it's been an experience. We've been married now. How many years, honey? Um, sixteen. Okay, he did good, baby. You didn't even have to think about that. I don't have to think about these things. I know everything. You know everything. Yes. Is that right? That was right. <laughs> did you just guess? <laughs> did you? I think, about little, I think about little dude. I'm little just long as I stay oh, with, I stay one dude, I no dude, number, number two, two. I'm good. So, anywho, so we're going to get on down this road and we will check back in after we get on location and do number one right here as he starts installing these. Um, <clears throat> these shelves so hopefully you guys enjoyed this first vlog i hate i didn't get some footage of nice. dude number two <laughs> you said talking about the bird dude number two doing it doing his do making it do what it do on the basketball court but there will be many other vlogs that you guys will just see him making it happen as we say out there breaking some ankles breaking ankles because he's a bad point guard. He that dude. Anywho, so we will check back in with you guys later. What's today, baby? Today is Friday. Friday to what? 13. What? Oh, boy, Jesus. Today is not Friday the 13th. Is it the 23rd? You... The 13th, 23rd, what's the difference? It's a big difference. Today is the 23rd, Friday the 23rd. It don't matter. That's like being a little bit pregnant. Ain't that what you would say? Anyway. Okay, sometimes 13 is better than 23. So we will, um, come on. You gotta pay $2,300 and you gotta pay $1,300. Which one you wanna pay? Thank you guys so much for joining us. And you gonna sign up, you gonna tell the people. What I usually say is thank you so much for joining us. We already look forward to you joining us 